Hello YouTube and welcome to channel Anna Bella and today I'm going to be talking about to you about series 11, so that's 10 and 1, series 11 of Doctor Who, the second trailer. Okay, I've watched it three times now and I have one thing to say, I'm so glad we're going off world. Yes, admittedly it is a desert but at least it's not quarries in Wales because quarries in Wales have been famously used in Doctor Who um, as alien worlds for the past uh, 60, 50 years. Yes, I know. Yes, we're in the good vibes top. So basically we're going off world, which is good. We will have some episodes on Earth, but Doctor Who from Capaldi to Tennant to Matt Smith has been very Earth based. Admittedly Matt Smith less so. But and also Christopher Eccleston has been very Earth-based. At least now it looks like we're going to be spending quite a lot of time in space. Um, which is interesting because it doesn't look like we're going to have many historical episodes. We could have a historical frontier episode in space, but that's not Earth. Which makes it easier for the 13th Doctor, who is female. And it also gets us around the awkward females and second class citizens historically thing. Particularly if you were to go back to the Victorian or Edwardian era, um, the older gentleman companion, Graham, would be perceived as the man in charge. And Ryan would be, be perceived as the servant and Yaz would be perceived as a servant. And um, the 13th Doctor herself, Jodie Whittaker, would be seen as Graham's wife or associated with that. That's just the way it historically is. Coming back to the three companions, we've got, got an older man. Um, an Asian girl and a black boy, Ryan and Yaz, are both 19. Graham is an old man in his 50s. 13th Doctor is 13th Doctor. So you've basically got two mentor relationships where you've got the older white woman looking after Yaz and hopefully Graham will look after Ryan, which is going to be interesting in itself. So you've kind of got gender balancing there as well as a lot of diversity there. And actually it's very reflective of UK modern society in 2018 and 2019 today. Um, because there are a lot of Indian Asians within the UK and there are a lot of South um, Caribbean and African black people within the UK itself, which is really good that Doctor Who is reflecting this because in the past it has not done. It's got a very poor record of doing that. Um, also, I'm loving the return of the goggles and the fact that the Doctor is going back to helping people. It's like, if there's a call for help, I go and I help and I'm a traveller. And that's what I basically do. I fix things. I'm a doctor. This is what I do. Which is kind of nice because it's going back to its roots in a way. Loving the desert planet, but sand planets can get boring because it's sand. Unless we're going to do a whole dune or a... Um, Oh, what is it called? Stargate. That's it. So that's basically it. It's chance to start again. It's basically a reboot. It looks good. I'm pleased that we're not actually having the Daleks or the Cybermen because actually by not having them, it negates the fact that the Doctor is now female, which is interesting because the Daleks and the Cybermen, because they are, they have this particular way of thinking that they perhaps wouldn't recognise a female Doctor over their sort of history with Doctor Who. So I think that's interesting that we're actually breaking out and it also means that we're putting the whole Time War story to bed. Uh, the Cybermen have become sort of phantom ghosts type things. It possibly would be interesting to see them, but they've kind of been done to death and how um, they were dealt with the Cybermen, particularly at the end of the Capaldi area, kind of sums them up. It's basically, this is what happens to humanity. We do it to ourselves. We're just not very good. Yes, I've got my hair down. Big whoop. Um, there. So I think that's going to be interesting in itself. I've put the Daleks and the Cybermen to bed for a season. They've been put back in the toy box and we're going to go off world. And we're going to do some space travel. And we're going to see some new, possibly new aliens, some new friends, new companions in this group of four. And it does feel like a team piece because it's got to be. Um, women naturally, regardless of any time lord or time lady powers, etc, 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 tend to work more collaboratively than blokes. Just putting that out there, that's a generalism, I'm sure that there are obviously variations within. So we've got to be ever so careful. 
So I think that that's going to be interesting in itself, how that develops and how that grows. And also it's very interesting that people have already started complaining about the series. I'm not making any judgments about it. I think it's great. We've got a fresh start, a really good reboot, and actually having a nice diverse team with lots of different views from lots of different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different ages, actually makes the show intergenerational and very diverse, and actually very reflective of UK society today, which might confuse some of our more international viewers. I don't know, but that's very reflective of the UK and Doctor Who has done that. In the past it has, and it does reflect UK, and, and I think it, think that you're going to feel that when you watch it. Also, I think that the big complaint has been the scene where they're in that hospital and somebody says, why is she in charge? And then it's, then it's like Ryan, Yaz and Graham all say, because we say so, and then Ryan adds bro. And I'm like, yeah, well, Ryan may add bro. What is wrong with actually having some authentic street slang slash um, current colloquial language in Doctor Who. I mean, yes, I appreciate it's got a history of received pronunciation, but it's not a bad thing to actually integrate some form of street speak, some slang within it, because that's, you know, hello, 2018? And it's reflective of Ryan's culture. And I mean, would anybody complain if Yaz was eating curry in the TARDIS? I don't think so. I don't know if Yaz does eat curry. She might eat tacos. Let's not stereotype people. Let's break out. For all I know, they could all want pizza. Why does that matter? So let's break out of the mould. Let's be open-minded and let's see what happens. I think it's going to be a great reboot. I'm pretty pleased that we're actually going off world for a lot of it. And I'm pretty pleased that actually the Daleks and the Cybermen have been put back in the toy box for a season because sometimes they do get overused and to be absolutely honest the whole time war thing and the whole humanity becoming Cyberman thing was done so well by both um, in the David Tennant era and in the Matt Smith era that and the Peter Capaldi era that I feel that we've kind of we know that back to this trailer I think the trailer is fresh yes people have complained about the music being slightly different obviously it's going to be different because we've not got Murray Gold as the, as the composer anymore so we're gonna we've got a new composer yes we will get some orchestra orchestral music eventually but actually I like the song that it says it's a chance to start again you know so it's all about rebirth and regeneration which basically is what Doctor Who is actually about so don't judge it because it's a trailer it's supposed to get you interested it's supposed to get people talking what's going to happen we don't know there has always been a scene in Doctor Who where people say she's in charge or he's in charge they always have that usually at the very beginning of a new episodes obviously we might get a lot more of those kind of scenes now that the 13th Doctor is a woman so you are going to hopefully have lots of scenes where second class citizenship of women and discrimination against the so-called second gender being female you will see that and hopefully they will put those scenes in a little bit more and if it gets annoying i'm sorry but this is sort of reflective of what women in 2018 within the uk actually face um so get used to it and i'm really pleased that you've actually got three different ethnic groups supporting and saying actually she's in charge you've got a white bloke you've got an asian girl and you've got a black guy Big whoop, it's diverse, it reflects UK society, but hopefully we'll get to know Graham, Yaz and Ryan as characters, as people. And they won't just be a skin tone, or an elderly man, or two 19-year-olds. We don't know, it's really early days, and it's actually looking to be a really interesting and diverse um, series of Doctor Who. And it could be, I think, completely regenerative and it would refresh the whole series and I think it's going to actually be quite good if you approach it open-mindedly. Obviously it's going to reflect when I upload, I am going to be creating a new series 11 playlist for them. This video is going to be the first one in the playlist for the second trailer, um, which should be good. Obviously it's going to be coming out on Sundays within the UK and in America. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to upload the video publicly to YouTube on a Monday. 
So that's very likely when you will get it, probably Monday evening, um, UK time. So please like, comment and subscribe. And I'm sorry if anybody has taken offence. But yay, so roll on. Series 11 of Doctor Who with the 13th Doctor played by Jodie Whittaker. Check out the second trailer of Doctor Who because I think it is a very good trailer. It sums everything up. You've got the... It actually feels very much almost like Firefly in, in a kind of way, which is interesting in itself because we didn't actually focus a lot on the TARDIS. Hmm, interesting. It did feel very much like a science fiction show rather than a science fantasy show, which Doctor Who has sort of murf morphed, murfed, smurfed, morphed into becoming. Anyway, please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Yes, I'm back in the UK now. I had a, in the UK now, UK now? Oh, that's some kind of like merging the UK with a volcano, a UK now. I'm back in the UK now. I had a really great time in America. Um, so yay, I will be doing um, reviews of every single episode of series 11 of Doctor Who. If I accidentally miss one, it'll probably be due to obviously scheduling conflicts with other stuff that I'm doing, because obviously I don't just review Doctor Who, as you can see from my extensive channel list of videos. So please like, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you after the pilot episode of season 11.